What's this all about? What's the meaning of this? I get this report on my desk this morning. I was supposed to have it last night. I go to the meeting this morning. I look like an idiot because I don't have the report that I need. What the hell's the matter with you? How long has it been, Sam, since you talked to a stranger? A month? Longer? Uh, six months? The last time I saw you, you were still on speaking terms with your husband. And now, as I understand, I'm the only one you can talk to. How do you manage? We get by. What happened? What, do you think we're made of money? They can't help themselves. My husband? Your husband? Everyone! It's funny. Humans think of themselves as highly evolved creatures guided by logic. We... we are. Oh, really? Uh, do you feel that way about your colleagues at work? Or, or the human who yelled at you in the parking lot? It seems they let their emotions tell them what to do. And you've seen what happens when emotions are involved. Shouting. And you don't like that. No one does. When they shout at me, I just want to be dead. That's perfectly reasonable, based on what's in your file. Um, PTSD caused by prolonged workplace harassment and now severe anxiety bordering on sc scopophobia. Patient withdrawn from society cannot speak to others. Can't you just give me a suicide pill? Sam, you know I don't offer that service. But modern medical science, it can only offer me mind-numbing, expensive drugs. I don't want to hide the pain, I want to end it. Plus, you promised you'd help me. I will keep that promise. Everyone has issues, Sam. Everyone has fears. Today, we will discover whether you will live or die. Your spirit has been crushed by humans like your boss. Well, let me tell you about his fears. Here we are. Patient suffers from arachnophobia. Spider, Sam. Your boss has a crippling fear of spiders. There's no rational reason. He's just a little boy in, a, in an adult's body with a childish fear of spiders. At least your fear... Well, I'm not afraid of them. I hate them. Okay, you hate them to the point where you lie in bed all day avoiding them? Your hatred has become fear, Sam. You've ignored it for way too long. Uh, how about the peanut butter lady? Says here, she's afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark? The human who shouted at you in the parking lot. Claustrophobia! An adult who can't even get into an elevator! How pathetic is that? Yeah, I guess. Do you see, Sam? You are incapacitated by panic-stricken children. Sam, please pick up the box under your chair. Good. Now, place it on the table and open it. Your co-worker, uh, the man who screams at you, would have already ran screaming 
screaming from the room. I thought you said he was afraid of spiders. He is. He's also a phidiophobic, chiroptophobic, and pogonophobic. That's snakes, bats, and, strangely, beards! You know, I've actually never seen one so close. Why don't you, why don't you pick it up? Will it bite me? Maybe. Will it hurt? Why should that matter to someone who spends all day planning to kill themselves? Go ahead. Pick it up. Sam, you can prove right now you are more courageous than everyone who makes you miserable just by putting your hand in that box. This is your opportunity to prove you are stronger than all of them. This is your aha moment, Sam. Discover the strength within yourself and take it out of the box. It's yours if you want it, Sam. All yours. What a breakthrough you've made today. I have a plan which I'm sure will help you with your return to work. Thank you.